Hello, Step One Warriors. This is Dr. Facundo Gonzalez. I'm an emergency physician in New York. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I'll give you a second to do that and like. It helps me a lot. It's free. This is part two of my resources and tips for step one. So stay tuned. Here they go. So I did my last video that you can watch it up here. I'll put the little white bar so you can go to it. But in this video, I wanted to cover why, in my opinion, I did not use first aid step one, that book that everybody uses and swears by it and reads it seven times. I personally think that this is a good book for review and is pretty much a checklist. In my opinion, the step one is just a bunch of knowledge, bullet points in pages, hundreds of pages, just bullet points. There's no content, there's no substance, there's no understanding, it's pure memorization, which is good. Some things you do need to memorize. Let me say this, some things sadly you just straight up memorize and you'll get answers. Sometimes you do have to memorize the fundamental structure of things so then you can derive answers. So in my opinion, I remember studying for step one and spending literally a week trying to just read step one and I felt I wasted my time all I was doing was just reading and it was just bullet points there was no like oh and this is going to lead to this because then this is going to activate the renin angiotensin system like that was not there it was just bullet points and I felt I wasted a week so then I just started my studying the way I like to do it like I said on my other video I used my Patoma I used my sketch medical I use U world questions, YouTube videos, and then I realized that after doing that, I could go to any page on step one on first aid and literally be, I know this, I know this, I know this. I pretty much knew everything that was on step on the first aid just because I had learned it somewhere else. So it's a good checklist of the things that you should know. And of course, I do recommend they do have good mnemonics. So if you want to use it uh, for that as well, you can go through it and check the mnemonics that are there. That they're pretty good. In my opinion, some of the pages that I think I remember being helpful were, for example, the cerebrovascular accidents like the pica, posterior inferior cerebellar artery infarcts. I remember uh, congenital heart defects. That was nicely uh, placed mnemonics for for example the vitamins on first day were good like b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 all of those so those were good mnemonics so again use it for a checklist and the mnemonics but don't just read it because they have no substance you should do things like pathoma in my opinion that's what i think so i think most people are using it wrong and they just want to spend weeks just reading through bullet points and that will not give you substance all right, moving on uh, for more tips that I think are helpful. So if you are listening to this, I really think they are helpful tips. First year of medical school, if this applies to you, I just focused on learning, going to class, paying attention, taking my notes, getting used to medical school. Second year, I finally started doing other things for board studying. In my case, I just did, I think, USMLE RX, those questions. And I didn't give myself all oh, every day. I did them every day as I could. 10, 15 questions a day, USMLE RX. And like I said on my other video, you want to do questions timed to get used to the pace of the exam. And you want to do random. You want to do random topics, cardiology, physiology, biochemistry, because at the end of the day, your test is going to be like that. It's not going to be, here's a block of cardiology and is you're going to be biased knowing that it's a cardiology question the real exam you don't know if the question is going to be a microbiology question so again timed random having said that another th resource that i use after watching pathoma or something else is golgen audio i don't know if that's still available out there somewhere 
but Golgen Audio was this really nice, concise review, high yield that you could listen to it and only understand if you have a basis. If not, it's really hard to do, but you will listen to it and he'll explain things in ways that you could understand and, and remember. So I think that was very helpful. They always say, do two paths through UWorld. In my opinion, I'm a strong believer of you doing things once and doing them very well. So if you do things once and well, there's no need to do it a second time. In my opinion, if I went through a question on URL, I did, I got it wrong. I read through the answer choices. I took myself a note. I thought of it. I'm really going to internalize and learn that material. So if they ask me that question next time, in theory, you should not get that question wrong. You shouldn't. And the other problem of assuming you're going to do your world twice is that during your first pass, you're going to blow things away. You're going to say, uh, okay, I don't really get it, but you know, whatever. Like, because in your mind, you think you're going to do it a second time and won't appreciate and fully take it in the first time. So that is a handicap in my opinion. So having said those things, I did Euro always once. I did it well. I took my notes. I reviewed the material I did not know. And maybe if you do want to do more questions, do the ones you got wrong again, not the whole thing. Okay. That's my other advice. And that's pretty much it. This is a short uh, video, not really sketched out. That's what I was just talking from my mind, but I think it's the most helpful in my opinion. And today I was trying to film before my pediatrics shift, 7.35 a.m. now, I work at 8 a.m. I'm happy I got to make this video. I found a room. I hope you like this video. And if you are new, just subscribe. It helps me and I have video blogs here if you want to become an emergency physician, if you want to see what it's like to be a doctor. Any questions, any comments, please let me know. I hope you find this helpful. I really do. If not, just tell me you, you're useless or let me know. I want to improve. Thank you.